Hey guys, welcome back to Undulations. Today we've got another episode of One Hitch Wonders. That's the show where we explore patching a synthesizer with only one patch cable. Again, featuring the Make Noise No Coast. So, let's get straight to it. Okay, so a quick review of what we did last time. We started with a signal from the oscillator section, and we skip over these main sections, the overtone, the slope, and the contour, and we're coming down through the balance. We make sure to select only the fundamental. We come out, make sure to have the, balance, have the dynamics up, and we still don't hear anything because we need a voltage at the dynamics CV input. Now, Last time we looked at three different ways of getting that from a constant signal. So there's a voltage coming out here from a clock signal. And then from a random voltage. Okay. And so I want to start today just by saying that there's still a couple more things you can do without having to involve any of these other major new sections. You can take a signal from the oscillator itself. This is a voltage and I can take that out, feed it over here. So that's going into the dynamic and it gives more of a subtle change of timbre. You've got a fundamental that sounds like this. And then when I do this, sounds a little bit softer. Now, you can certainly brighten the whole thing up. I'm going to actually turn the dynamics down. Instead, by using the output from the square wave and sending that into the dynamics. So if I do that, it's a lot brighter, fuzzier. quite different. So there's a lot that we've been able to do without involving any of these things. But at this point, I want you to think about the contour section. It's particularly relevant to the way that we've been headed because there is over here a normal route. And that normal route is going from the contour output. So this is the voltage of the contour, which is an envelope and heading into the dynamic. And we're going to be able to use that to get more sounds out of the device. Okay, so to learn more about the contour section, I'm going to bring in our trusty voltmeter, and that's going to allow us to measure voltages like I did last time. I can show you that as we change the voltage over here, we can read that on the meter. So this patch cable becomes our probe and with that in mind I'm kind of gonna break the rule a little bit I need a second patch cable to trigger the contour but don't worry for sounds we'll only use one okay the contour gets triggered by the gate port right here and I'm gonna have a little bit of onset no sustain for now very little and decay and then this is a shaping knob here where you have a exponential more of a, a percussive sound versus linear where it's more of a plucked sound okay i'm gonna plug this patch cable into the gate and i'm just gonna grab a voltage from over here to trigger the contour and then we're measuring out of the contour itself so measuring the in, the envelope value so as I do this, we should see the needle go up and then come back down. Okay, that was pretty fast, so I'm going to slow things down a little bit, change the shape, and we'll do it one more time. So watch over here as I trigger it now. Voltage slowly comes up, and then 
slowly comes back down. So we're going to be using this contour section a lot, particularly in the next video as I get into what I call the phantom gate. Okay, the contour is a very versatile envelope depending on how you have the sustain set, how you have this uh, shaping knob set, whether it's exponential or more linear. And I'm going to go ahead, use the clock signal, and you control the tempo of the clock signal by tapping this button up here. So if I want it slower, just give it a rhythm. And I'm going to send that clock signal into the gate. And now our normal contour signal is coming to the dynamics and giving us the tone. And you can change the onset of that. You can change the shape of it, the decay of it, and I think you'll agree that that can start to get a very percussive sort of kick drumish. So there are a lot of nice sounds that you can get out of the contour. Now, that's the intended use of it, but there are no rules on the no coast, and we can start trying to add in other ways to trigger the gate. Following on the theme from earlier in this episode, we can run the square wave, which if you think of that as a sort of a, instead of an audio signal as a gating or clock type signal, you can just run that into the gate. So right now I've got it set up so that the contour settings are very long and it's being triggered very frequently. So in some ways this is just sending a constant voltage over to the dynamic and it's uh, really not that different of a sound from what you would get if you just put a voltage in there. And so a way to make this a lot more interesting is when we start to reduce the time scale of the contour and get it down towards audio frequencies. Okay, so let's think about where we're at. Instead of using the contour as a classic ADSR type envelope, we're taking it down to shorter time scales using this audio frequency square wave to trigger the gate. And by changing the contour parameters, we can get a lot of interesting sounds. And we're not even using the overtone section, but we're still getting overtones and a lot of complexity. So. It's quite a versatile circuit. To wrap this episode up, I'm going to take the frequencies up and get quite shrill here. Uh, it reminds me of another synth that I have, the Bit Ranger from Bastel Instruments. I think you'll find it's some fascinating sounds coming out of the No Coast. Thank you.
hope you enjoyed that and feel a little bit wiser about modular synthesis. If you want to make sure to catch the next episode of One Hitch Wonders, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks a lot for watching.